Hello, everybody, and welcome to Law and Society. I'm going to talk to you today briefly about Eileen Cannon's order uh, for the trial date for the Mar-a-Lago documents case. Now, if you will recall, oh, before I go, before I go any further, if I speak too slowly for you, uh, which I tend to do, please. Uh, Go to the bottom right corner of your screen and speed up the video. You can speed it up to twice as fast, uh, but I think that keeping it at 1.5 works because more than one person has said that I speak too slowly. Uh, so with that said, if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you don't like something, point it out if you, uh, and that way I can address it. So, you know, thank you for whoever critiqued me about it being slow. Now let's get back to the substance. Eileen Cannon set an order for uh, a trial date of May 20th, 2024. So that is a little more than five months later than what the DOJ would have wanted and it is uh, and it doesn't give Donald Trump what Donald Trump wanted which was an open-ended no trial date set uh, lollygagging until after the presidential election now so Eileen Cannon picked a middle ground where she could both help Donald Trump and also avoid uh, Jack Smith making an appeal to the 11th Circuit to have Cannon removed for this particular issue. And here's why. If Eileen Cannon would have left the order uh, left this uh, trial process completely open-ended, it would have gone against procedure and how things work procedurally in the trial, pre-trial phase. It would violate the idea of the right to speedy trial, in, in this case not for the defendant, but in this case the, for the public interest in having a speedy trial. And that would, you know, that would be an appealable order because it would be outcome determinative, meaning there would be no telling of when this case, that the case would be adjudicated if, you know, if you keep it completely open-ended. So in, from my, how I see it, it this is my opinion, that that would have given Jack Smith an appealable order because it would have it would be an order that was outcome determinative by not setting a trial date for a criminal trial and I you know I don't have the specific case law to name to you but I'm sure there are there's plenty that talks about the public interest in speedy trials uh, and she also set the trial date for May of 2024 so that's primary season for the presidential election and Eileen Cannon didn't think that it was important to the case it's also one month after uh, one of his other uh, proceedings because he has three uh, two other cases so once it's uh, one trial date is set for March the other one is for April so this is for May of 2024 and so on its face she denies Donald's open-ended request but she delays it long enough that it gets into the primary season the uh, hope at this point is that 
enough will be accomplished during this 11 month period that we have or 10 month period that we have that the discovery process and all the SIPA classified information act procedures act uh, processes happen and are resolved and I believe that the DOJ will do their best to meet the schedule and even go above and beyond to uh, you know move ahead in the schedule and you can bet your bottom dollar that Donald Trump and his defense will drag their feet at every point at every hearing will ask for continuances and delay it and delay it and delay it so in my mind at this standpoint Jack Smith has to decide whether to appeal this order because it's said it's five months later than he had asked because he said December 11th 2023 or whether to just let it stand because she did make uh, a set a trial date and a trial schedule uh, and she does have broad discretion in setting the trial date and trial schedule. I believe that Jack Smith will let this stand and will move as this procedure, uh, as the trial is set. 